Hi guys, I am coming to you from a hotel in Mansfield, Texas. Josh is hanging out on the bed behind me and I thought I would film a really quick segment to share with you about our first day in Texas. We had a little time to kill after we picked up our rental car, so we went to a yarn store that was about 15 minutes from uh, where we were eating breakfast. It's in Grand Prairie, Texas, and it is called The Knitting Fairy. And I wish I had filmed us trying to find it because it's in an industrial park with about 10 or 12 buildings, I think, at least. And it's really hard to tell what's what. So it took us a good five minutes to find it in this shopping center, but it was really accessible from the highway. Um, and it just had, it was a really nice shop. You know, you wouldn't, you walk in and you don't think it's, in an, in, an, in an industrial uh, area. Sorry, I can't really talk. You walk into the hotel, or hotel, walk into the yarn store, and it's almost like a house. There are all these different rooms, and I will insert a picture here of the cowboy that greeted me when I walked in. It was kind of awesome. And I thought um, part of the reason we went there was because this dyer or this store carried um, exclusive yarn someone who I presume works at the shop because she was there when I was there she dyes yarn exclusively for knitting fairy and I will share it with you now so I got two mini skeins from um, the yarn that this dyer creates it's called fairy tales fairy tales yarn and I believe saffroni is the dyer and it comes, it's a 100% merino, superwash merino, and it is a 20 gram, 76 yard put up. And it's really squishy, really nice twist on the yarn. And I got this lovely turquoise color, as well as this beautiful butter yellow. It's this beautiful butter yellow. And the other thing I purchased was a dyer local to Grand Prairie. Um, the brand is Round Table Yarns really pretty kind of medieval logo and this was self striping yarn it is the Merlin base 7525 superwash merino nylon 463 yards luff talking and it stripes in yellow green lilac purple bright blue and pink so I just thought this was a really fun springy colorway and you can see it's hand dyed in Texas so that's it for me today. I thought I would edit a quick episode on my phone and here I will insert some footage from our adventures today. Bye. One more thing, I wanted to share this awesome Texas pin with you. The Dallas-Fort Worth yarn crawl begins tomorrow and we got here today. So I'm hoping to check out at least one more yarn store um, while we're here in the Fort Worth area before we go on to Austin.